you just can't seem to escape the sand. Like it's just, <laughs> it's just everywhere you go. <laughs> oh, that's true. I hadn't even thought about that. That's absolutely true. Always a little bit of sand in my work. We are here today to talk about Last Light, awesome new uh, thriller series coming to Peacock on September 8th, which you guys are both in. Um, uh, uh, Matt, I want to ask, man, you know, you you just can't seem to escape the sand. Like, <laughs> it's, just, <laughs> it's just everywhere you go. <laughs> oh, that's true. I hadn't even thought about that. That's absolutely true. Always a little bit of sand in my work. <laughs> I, uh, I asked Denny about that, that storm, that uh, sandstorm in that first, first episode of last light and uh, uh, you know, about practical, practical effects or, or anything like that. And she was like, well, I just basically just threw some sand in his face. <laughs> just blasted it with like high speed fans. And like, it was, that was pretty rough. I mean, I, honestly, I could, after each take, I had to like be like doused with water and like flush my eyes. And like, it was pretty gnarly. Denny, she's uh, she's amazing, amazing director, and the action stuff was so much more difficult than I thought it was going to be because she's amazing, and she wants to shoot stuff in a lot of different ways, and she wants um, she wants stuff to have a certain you know be kinetic and like so she doesn't she doesn't rest until it's until it's right, and um, it was an amazing experience working with her again. I'd worked with her many many years ago, but. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm part of five. Actually, we're working. Oh, together. that's so funny. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. I yeah. Uh, uh, it, it's funny that you mentioned the action and all that because one of the things that, that she said, Joanne, when uh, I got a chance to chat with her was how you you may not have necessarily known how thrown into it you were going to be. Like maybe maybe you weren't. Maybe maybe she hadn't fully prepared you for how much action you'd be seeing. Is that true? Or <laughs> what? Well, Danny's bothered. Me and Matthew both did exactly the same thing. So, and this is no, this is not Danny's fault. I think we can both take personal responsibility for this. We should know better, <laughs> but we kind of read the scripts and, you know, uh, each uh, uh, like, I mean, Matthew had more action stuff to do than me, but I kind of went, Oh yeah, you know, she's running down there. She's going to smash that. Blah, blah, blah. Great. And, um, and then you get on set and you're like, Oh yeah, I forgot. It's a little bit more involved than <laughs> You know, you, you first think, and I've cho- chosen these really inappropriate boots that have got too high a heel, and I'm running around with these things and smashing stuff and jumping over stuff. And I kind of was like, yeah, I didn't, when you read it on the page, it's not quite, it's in real life. Like, so that's a note to self for, for future that, um, but I loved it. I mean, I loved doing all the action stuff. It's apps. I mean, it's just, for me, it's like being a kid in a sweet shop. It's so much fun. And, and Denny's so, She's so experienced at shooting that stuff and she's so brilliant at it. And she has high standards and people, we all want to do our best for her. And she's like, no, it's not right. Yes, it's right. And you just sort of, you know, when you've got a good take and you hear her reaction and you're like, yes, we got it. And it's just, yeah, she's, um, she has a very sort of um, contagious, um, yeah, contagious sort of enthusiasm. I completely agree. Have, getting to have chatted with her just a little bit. Uh, yeah, she's got a very infectious personality and very much fun to be around. I'm sure it was great being on set with her all the time. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um, uh, Last Light is is out, uh, again, Peacock, September the 8th. Uh, I want to thank you guys so much for taking time to chat today. I really appreciate it. Uh, Matt, I want to tell you I'm a huge fan of Bone Tomahawk, so... Thanks All right on. Cool. <laughs> Weird movie. Awesome Thank movie. You. <laughs> Thank you guys so Thanks much. Time with you, man. Thank you. Amber Rose Reba, how are you today? I am very well. Thank you. How are you doing? Very good. Thank you so much for taking time. I uh, wore my Punisher hat in honor of... <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> um, <laughs> but we're not here to talk about that. We are here to talk about uh, your new Peacock series, Last Light, which uh, I'm very excited about. Uh, I've gotten to watch the whole thing, and man, what a series. Um, uh, I'm curious. Uh, I read uh, that when you were working on Punisher, uh, that you spent time researching uh, like Homeland Security and those kinds of things to kind of inform the character better. And I was curious if having done that role... Um, s- was was helpful for your performance as Mika in Last Light? Oh, hugely so. I mean, apart from everything else, the physical training, we, oh, you know, sure. when we did, we did a lot of um, weapons training, you know, we did a lot of stunt training, different martial arts. And then we came to Last Light and, you know, it was something that appealed to me about the character from the beginnings that um, she's very capable, like, like my character in The Punisher was, who's very capable um, mentally, physically, 
And I love that about Mika and the fact that, you know, her story, her whole story is with Andy, with Matthew Fox, but it's a platonic relationship. They're both striving for something and they both have their own bigger picture, um, but they're going alongside together, which I loved. Um, so when it came to the action in this, I was kind of like, hurrah, you know, it's kind of, I really enjoy it, number one. And then it also gave me a platform to be able to go, okay, where can I move to as a next level? So we, you know, we said, well, she would have elements of BJJ and elements of Krav Maga in this and blah, blah, blah. So, um, which was a lot of fun to train as well. My wife and I watched the show together. And uh, one of the things that she pointed out that that was really neat was she was like, there's a lot of girl power in this show. Like the women really sort of take the 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 lead in a lot of situations and and you are a female character who's protecting this male character it's, i thought that was a really interesting uh perspective Did, was that something that you noticed like beforehand well it's wonderful to hear that because it's i haven't actually seen the whole series so i have only seen it uh, the first couple of eps but it was something that was really important for me to show you know it's part of what i look for in the characters in the first place and i love shows which have that um and you know, it's it's also, you know, we need to see things from different perspectives. It, it is important because I think we see, especially seeing, you know, having role models on screen and and it's kind of, you know, we want to see a variety of different backgrounds. And, and in this show, I think we do. Absolutely agree. Uh, were, were you familiar with the, the novel at all beforehand? I wasn't, no. Did did you did you read it at all, or or in a situation like this, do you prefer not to? You know, sometimes I prefer not to, but I did with this. Um, but it was interesting because because it doesn't really inform my character. I mean, it, I, I was interested in the world. I think that's what it opened me up to is is the understanding of this kind of chaos, this domino effect. But with my character, it was quite. I mean, there was a lot of work I did with Denny, which was great because she was very open to me discussing the backstory and the understanding of this character. Um, and yeah, with with the novels, it was just it was really just out of interest for me, you know. <laughs> it's it's interesting that you bring Denny up because I want I was going to ask about your experience working with her because she just has such an incredible uh, uh, repertoire of oh, projects that she's done. She is an incredible director. And I was going to ask, you know, what your experience was working with her. She's so, good. she's so go, go, go. She's, you know, if there's something that I can reference Mika with, with the fact that Mika's so capable, it's Denny Gordon. You know, she's, um, she was just fantastic. She was very open to suggestions. So she works in such a collaborative manner um, that's wonderful. Uh, and then she's also, you know, I mean, doing five episodes, it's it's a big, a big old series. And as you can see, there's a lot that goes into it because it changes so quickly from episode to episode. We're not shooting in a studio, you know, with the same things. We are literally all over the world. We are, there's a lot of action. Um, there's some very cold days in middle winter in Europe. There's some very hot days in the desert in, you know, Abu Dhabi and she is there go 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 so was it like that or like were, were you like literally in the cold one day and then the very next day you're like having to completely change your wardrobe oh well we well we basically we went from the end of December in Prague which okay. uh, I can't remember the minus temperatures but I will tell you they were low um and then a couple of weeks later flew out to Abu Dhabi filmed in the in the middle of the desert where you've got dunes after dunes you know camels riding in the distance where you know you start to lose your head because it's so hot <laughs> and there's a sandstorm that's been created by Denny for the effect that it will have on screen and you kind of but it's it, it makes a show that you know when I saw that scene with the sandstorm that and you've got all the the sand in your throat and everyone and you see it and you think god that looks it looks like the real a real sandstorm and it feels like a real sandstorm and that's what it's for yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, yeah, it looks amazing just as a fan, you know, who got to watch it. Like it looks really yeah. cool on screen and, and, and you did fantastic. The whole cast is great. The show is great. Yeah, Thank you very great. much, Amber. I appreciate your time today. I'm really excited to talk to you. I know that uh, we're here to talk about Last Light, but I do want to thank you for bringing our Lord and Savior, Joe Dirt, into the world. Uh, oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're dirty, Joe Dirt. You know, I, I wanted to... <laughs> 
<laughs> Whenever I run into David Spade, he's like, he's like always, oh, it's like he says it's his favorite project. We had so much fun on that movie. Can you imagine how much fun we had making that movie? And we every day we looked at each other and said, I can't believe people are paying us to make this project. <laughs> I mean, my God. And the longevity that it's had. I mean, what a kid, what a cast. Oh my God. Yeah. Kid walking, <laughs> walking. Oh my God. We had so much fun. I cannot tell you. That's awesome. Well, I'm I, glad. I want to make sure we talk about Last Light because if we spend yes. on Joe Dirt, I'm going to get in trouble. Um, yeah, we'll do that another, another time. We should, we'll do that another time. It's a phenomenal thriller series coming to Peacock September 8th. Uh, uh, I'm very excited about it. Uh, my wife and I watched it together and, and I was had a chance to speak with Amber just before uh, here. And I mentioned to her that we were watching. My wife was like, there's a lot of girl power in this show. Women really sort of take the lead. And, I, and, and she was like, oh, wow, that's interesting. I, I hadn't, she has said she hadn't seen show altogether yet. So she kind of wasn't sure how everything was arranged, but I was curious if if that was kind of intentional, like if you really wanted to kind of do that or if that's just sort of the shape that the script had taken. Well, you know, I mean, look, we're telling a global story and I had, I really wanted a diverse global cast and it was, I, I you know, I didn't want the, anybody to be run of the mill and, you know, like MI6 is not run by Judy Dench, it's run by a badass black woman. And, um, Listen, I'm a you know I'm a woman in power, and I you know I want to I want to show other women you know other powerful women. Um, I think uh, all the female characters brought this you know fantastic uh, combination of of heart and professionalism to this global crisis. And you know, in in the end, uh, Cameron at MI6 says, you know, what what else are we going to do? We just have to keep on. We just have to keep on. Um, we have to keep on going. And I, I just, I love hearing that from these strong women. Um, I always want to, you know, use strong women as much as I can, where I can. We didn't go out of our way here, but um, we were thrilled to find the, the, you know, the strong women that we did and, you know, between Amber and Rhiannon and of course, Joe Frog, and she had no idea the action she was going to get dropped into. So we were <laughs> We just we were just thrilled with the entire cast. It was it was it was really it was challenging, but it was really such a fun process for all of us. Everybody ended up training. Amber, of course, did all of her own stunts. You know, she did that fight from beginning to end. Oh wow! Uh, that fight in the uh, in the kitchen in uh, in you know in the Middle East. That's all Amber. Oh wow! I'm telling you, she's the next Bond girl. She is <laughs> bad. She is. She just leapt into it. My stunt coordinator, uh, Pepe Jelinek, took one look at her and said, "Woohoo! We're going to have fun with her." Uh, <laughs> she just she she did it all, and you know, and such a stunningly beautiful actress as well. So, you know, that was that was that was really fun, and to show her really fighting was mm. um, was thrilling. Yeah, she whipped up on them. Uh, uh, I'm curious that there, in the very first episode, there's this you know massive sandstorm, and and she said that that a, a portion of that was very was practical, like you actually created. A, a I blew sand on their faces. I, I totally, I totally, I totally made them cry. I, uh, oh, no. <laughs> especially Matthew. You know, at the end there when he's when she's like telling him you're not going to get to Paris. And, you know, I'm literally, you know, I have a, I have a sand gun and it's going right at him. And I said, I'm just going to do one take, just like roll with it. Um, but he's like, you know, I, I mean, it was, it was fantastic. Um, <laughs> we, we did, we did a fair amount of VFX, but a fair amount of stuff is like literally blowing into their faces. They were such troopers. Oh, that's good. <laughs> um, well, it's a great cast and, and executed fantastically an incredible thriller uh, coming to Peacock September the 8th. Denny, thank you very, very much for taking the time. Thank to chat. you. Really thank you honor. so much. I appreciate it. Talk to Joe Dirt another time. Yes, absolutely. Let's get back together and talk Joe Dirt. <laughs>